This report is important because it is groundbreaking. For the first time, the new science lets us allow a glimpse of what's going to be the full consequences of global warming in the Arctic. You see, the Arctic has warmed at about twice the global rate over the last decades. And what this report now enables us to see is the full consequences, the full global consequences of that Arctic warming. This, we believe, is critical information for the people to know in the light of the new climate deal that is going to be negotiated in Copenhagen in December. The science on Arctic climate feedbacks is maturing and increasingly based on observations rather than only model projections. On top of that, the report has been written by senior expert scientists in their field. Most of them are actually authors of the fourth assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Arctic climate feedbacks basically have global consequences. Many of them actually affect the greenhouse gas loading of the atmosphere and so the consequences will be felt worldwide. But others will have regional consequences. Weather will change as a result of atmospheric feedbacks. Ocean currents will change as a result of ocean feedbacks. We are actually already seeing the first consequences of Arctic climate feedbacks. They are already upon us. But if we continue to warm the Earth at the current rate, we will actually see them at their full power within decades, within this century. The report tells us that we have no time to lose. If we allow the Arctic to get too warm, it is really doubtful whether we will be able to keep the Arctic climate feedbacks under control. So that what we need now is people to listen to these signals from the Arctic and take the necessary action to come to a deal in Copenhagen that reduces emissions effectively and quickly.